Okay, <clears throat> this little video is going to be about <clears throat> what's going on with the Olympic, uh, the two boxers, the controversy of whether or not they are male or female. Um, it's the Aman Khalif or something like that and two Taiwan team some, something like that I'm slaughtering the names I, I don't know the names uh, but it's the two Olympic uh, a lot of people say that they're men a lot of people say that they're women uh, a lot of people say that they're neither well here's the way it really is and this is according to Richard Dawkins a biologist look him up um, gender has nothing to do with this. Gender is a social construct. So forget about gender. Gender has nothing to do with this. There are basically two sexes, male and female, and that is it. Um, these two, apparently, they have names for them now um, that the OIC, the Olympic Committee or whatever, Olympic, whatever it is, IOC or OIC, um, are using to uh, kind of cover up. After a lot of research on my part, I realize now what, what these names are. Basically, not basically, but yeah, they're, they're hermaphrodites. A term that we've used for eons. They're basically hermaphrodites. Um, however, with hermaphrodites, hermaphrodites are people who develop in different ways, different measurements, both male and female genitalia, um, uh, bone structures, etc., so on and so forth. But they're either male or female. They're not both. A hermaphrodite is a condition, not a sex. Um, and these two people may honestly not understand it th themselves. They're, they may not be trying to uh, pull the wool over anybody's eyes. They may honestly not understand, especially the one from Algeria. I mean, come on. It's Algeria. You know what they would do to him if they thought he was actually a male posing as a female. They'd probably throw him from a roof. They're Sunni Muslims majority over there in Algeria. Um, but yeah, they're hermaphrodites which means that they have developed probably the lack of, of testes, penis, or the lack of um, ovaries, etc. You're either or, male or female. And these two may have a lot of female characteristics, but they have the XY chromosomes and testes. They are male. They're male. Which means they also genetically inherited all that testosterone and what makes a man a man. Maybe he's, maybe they don't have penises or they have someone. You know, it didn't develop. It depends. Hermaphrodites are all kinds of shapes and sizes and, and, and differences. There's, there's no no, you know, hermaphrodite that's the same, basically. So, yeah, I mean, that's what these two are. They're these two people. Uh, they're hermaphrodites, and they're men. They have XY chromosomes and testes, and they, um, I mean, they're men. And I think this will come out more and more and more. And something needs to be done about this 
whole woke, the OIC or IOC or whatever they are, the Olympic people, um, they're woke. I mean, even the boxing um, federation or whatever it is, the Women's Boxing League or whatever it is, uh, in 2023, done tests on these two and threw them out because they had XY chromosomes. They're men. They can't compete with women in the boxing competitions. But for some reason, the Olympics is different because they're woke. But bottom line is they're men. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. See what what kind of research have you done? I'm, this is scientific. I'm open to something changing. I, I truly do believe we're in the midst of evolution in process. Uh, but that's another video, and that's much more in depth. But yeah, they're men. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe and be safe.